Hi everyone, I'm going to present you our work about an improved filtering of scheduling problems using redundant table constraints. The success of CP on scheduling problems comes from the use of global constraints. A particularity of the scheduling problems is the need for variables with big domains due to the discretization of time required to make a schedule. Our methodology, close to tabling, compiles all the solutions of a relaxed model in a table in order to use it as a redundant constraint. The relaxed model is created by having another discretization of time. We tried our method on the resource constraint project scheduling problem. Our methodology is simple and organized in three steps. First, the reduction of the horizon, then the generation of the table, and finally, the solving of the problem. Let's illustrate it with an example. The first step is trivial. We find an easy solution to reduce the horizon. In the example, an easy solution leads us to an horizon of 9. This helps us considering a smaller start interval when creating our abstract variables. The second step is twofold. The first part consists of creating our abstract variables. The idea behind is to have a more zoom out view of the problem by reducing the granularity of time. Instead of considering a time step of one hour, the time step could be one day or one week. In our example, we divided the nine time intervals into two bigger time intervals. By adding these variables, the start of the task will now be scheduled during one of those time intervals. The second part is the generation of the relaxed table. This is done by adding the new variables. Channeling constraints are used to link them to the initial start variables. The search space is then explored by branching only on the abstract variables. All the solutions are gathered in the table. Each of these tuples corresponds to a relaxed solution, as the one displayed where the start of each task have been relaxed. The last step of our methodology is to add the table of relaxed solution to the model as a redundant constraint. The search space is then explored by branching only on the initial start variables and by performing a minimization of the horizon. We tried our methodology on two different benchmarks, the J30 and the J60. We also tried multiple settings. First, we tried to compute the table of relaxed solutions for all the tasks simultaneously. This means for each start variable, there is an abstract one. This led to huge RIT tables, which were long to compute. The overhead of their computation was too big compared to the help. This performance profile showed that in 95% of the case, solving directly the initial model was faster than using our methodology with all the tasks considered. It was even worse with the J60 instances. We then tried to generate the table for a restricted number of tasks. We selected the tasks with the highest energy score first. We tried selecting 5, 7, 10 or 50 tasks. This performance profile on the G30 instances shows us that there is no clear winner among the settings. We therefore computed the results 
of a virtual best method by selecting the best result among all the settings for each instance. This simulates what we could have if an oracle could predict the best settings in advance. In this case, we can see that our methodology provides an improvement in 80% of the cases. On the J60 instances, the results were not so good. Here, the methodology brings an improvement in 50% of the cases only. Moreover, the improvement is at most a division by two of the time. We think this is due to the complexity of the energetic reasoning propagator we used in the model. We hypothesize that the improvement of time during step 3 brought by the table is totally subsumed by the exponentially growing time of using the energetic reasoning. But this requires more experiments to confirm. To help us confirm this, we compared the baseline to the time taken by the step tree only, as if computing the relax table was free. In this case, 90% of the instances benefited from the use of the redundant table. We also did the comparison using a weaker cumulative propagator. It showed us better results. This goes in the same direction as the hypothesis. A possibility to palliate to this would be to generate the table with a weaker propagator while still using the strongest one in step 3. To conclude this presentation, our method is applicable to any scheduling problem with or without a cumulative constraint. It is also solver dependent as all solvers have table constraints and channeling constraints and our experiments showed good preliminary results. However, we still miss an automatic selection of the parameters. Also, the method should be tested on other problems and a more thorough study should be done on the pruning effect of the redundant constraint. Thank you for listening, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them. Thank you.